my name is Joey. I'm a crafter, 3D printer, and a collector of model trains. And I'm going to show you how I build a variety of different things. Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a car in SketchUp, or more specifically, the Batmobile. It's a fantastic Batmobile from the fantastic show Titans on DC streaming service, or now on HBO Max, Titans. I'm going to show you how to make this model using the Subdivide extension. It is a fantastic extension made by Thomas Thompson, aka TomTom. Tom. Here are the only two images that they released of the front and side view of the car in one shot. It's the concept art of the Batmobile. The thing you see here is what the model will look like when we are done with this process. Then the next thing you see here is what the model initially looked like when I started making it the first time. I didn't want to show you guys that video. That was how I used to make cars in SketchUp. They never came out good. But I found a new way using subdivisional modeling. And that's what I'm going to show you here. What you want to start off with is an image like you see here with all different angles of the car. You really only need the front angle, the side angle, and the back angle of the car. And that's what I really needed the most on this, but I could not find one on Google, so I made one myself. I'm just going to show you briefly how I made it in pages. I had a fun time making it. I realized later that I needed the section of the cockpit where Batman and Robin would sit, so I had to make it. But if you were doing a normal car, you wouldn't need that. To start this process off, you want to import your blueprint into SketchUp and make sure that it's on the larger side because this will help modeling it and be easier to subdivide later. You can always scale it down when you're done with this process. Then you want to start tracing the side view of the car, making sure you're using only straight lines like I show you here. And then you're going to want to divide it into 14 sections. When, the reason why you want to use only straight lines, it'll be easier for SketchUp to handle and it'll be easier for the subdivide tool to work. Now you want to trace all the sides or the angles of the car that you need to make this process. and then make them into separate groups and scale each view to the corresponding height line. So if it's the back of the car, you wanna scale it to the back end height like I show you here, or if it's the front of the car, you wanna scale it to the front of the car. When done with that, you then wanna group them, which I forgot to do, which then came to bite me later when making this into a 3D printable model. Here is the completed model with all the views of the car attached to the side view of the car in their corresponding spot. Then you want to connect all of the profiles of the car like I show you here.
Now here's what the model looks like with all the lines connecting the different shapes of the car. Now I want to start the grill, but then I realized the grill has a bend to it. So what I did was I made a rough shape using two rectangles and put them into an angle that I thought was good. And then decided to trace the grill shape and scale it up to the height of the two rectangles and then put a line roughly where the two connect. I made them into two separate groups, the top half and the bottom half, and then took the top half of the grill and bent it to shape of the top angle and then the bottom half to the bottom angle. And then removed the two rectangles and then exploded them and connected the two. Now I extended on the blue axis a line from the grill and then connected it to the side view of the car. And then I copied the line from the grill and then pasted it and used it as my connecting line to connect to the car. And now I start drawing a rough shape of the front fender of the Batmobile. Now I start connecting all the lines to the lines that I drew for the front fender. And then I copied it and pasted it and flipped it on the green axis and then put the two pieces together so I had a mirrored image and then erased the lines that did not match up and connected it so they matched up and filled the missing holes. And now I finish off the rest of the front end by connecting all the lines to the grill. Now I made sure to make an extending line on the same height of the other line so the grill is recessed evenly.
Now I made two swervy shapes to get a flowy and a nice flowy shape and made them solid and then used the follow me tool to follow the lines on the back end of the, the car. I didn't like how the last section of the car came out. So what I did was erase my lines and then use the offset tool to make a smaller swerve, but I still wasn't liking how that came out. So then I eventually erased that section off. Then I used the push-pull tool to, to pull the previous one, the last one, and then reconnected all my lines that weren't connected. And then connected all the lines to the back end of the car. to um, off camera and make the air intake and fix the side here. I didn't like the side and I didn't realize that the side connects to here. It makes one extending piece. Here's what it looks like so far with the air intake. I still gotta do the air intake hold and the, the light. And then I will start smoothing it all out. So now off camera I added the the air intake holes and the light hole here with let's see how it looks. I'm liking it so far. It's gotta be smoothed out and I'm gonna add the tail lights and then obviously where the wheel wells go. But this is how it looks so far. Here's what the finished model looks like before I subdivide it. But it wasn't until now that I realized I forgot to add the wheel wells. I didn't have them in my drawing, so I didn't even make them. So it didn't even cross my mind. Leave a comment below if I should add the wheel wells in, or should I just have the wheels hidden behind the fenders and only a portion of it sticks out. Now here's what one half of the model looks subdivided. Now I copied the one half, pasted it, flipped it, and connected the two. And now started to make the afterburner. I made a circle in the center of the back end of the backmobile, and then made it a group, used the push-pull tool, and then used the scale tool to give me that angled look, and then started adding in those, I guess, support beams? I don't know what they are, but that's what I wanted in them.
Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.